Hello, Steve White, Steve White, say nine. Well, I recently started collecting Transformers again, and then that made me want to watch the shows again. Now, I haven't watched them since I bought them DVD years ago, but I did want to watch them. So I went through, I watched season one, two, three, and four, which is only three episodes. But what I, one of the things I wanted to do was to watch the continuation of G1 that they did in Japan. They had um, essentially season five, which was Headmasters, season six, which was Power Masters, and then another show called Victory, which really doesn't have a lot to do with the original Transformers line, although it technically does. Um, but part of the issue was, they released all three on DVD, but only Headmasters and Victory had the English dubs. Um, they only did four episodes of the dub dips of the, of the season um, in Power Masters, so I didn't end up watching it. And I was really excited to see that someone on YouTube had put up, I think, different dubs of Headmasters and um, the whole of Power Masters with dubbed English audio. So... As bad as they are, they're kind of entertaining. Um, like, they weren't done by professional people. They were done by some people in Malaysia, I think, for the English um, audience there. So we're lucky we even got a dub, because no one, I, I'm guessing no one would pay to do it today, just to release it on DVD um, or streaming. But we did get those versions. And, like, the fact that um, Spike is called Sparkle the whole time... Um, was his name Sparkplug? Um, I can't remember. One was the dad, one was the son. But he's called Sparkle all the way through the series, and just you, it just makes you sort of laugh every time. Um, like, did no one tell them? And do they not know what Sparkle means? It's so funny to see this guy called Sparkle the whole time. But, I mean, you know, whatever. Okay, so basically the series, the animation style is the same. The characters are, are the same. Um, I mean, we see characters like Jazz and Hound appear at the start of the series. Optimus is alive again. Um, starts off really good. It just feels like the fourth season, really, of the show, where they kind of ignore the the um, origin of the Headmasters that was established in the three episodes of season four. Um, they just sort of do their own version, so it kind of works. And I really enjoyed it. Um, but then it starts to shift, and the show, what you, how it starts off, it ends off like a whole other show. It's sort of the start of season versus the end of season, it's like two different shows. Um, Optimus dies again. Rodimus, Cup, and Blur just randomly leave to go find a new Cybertron when Cybertron appears to be destroyed. Galvatron has appeared to be destroyed in that explosion. They give leadership over to Fortress Maximus, and Scorponok shows up, and then he's ruling the Decepticons. And um, The best part was the one of the last episodes of the season, they went to Canberra. Um, there was... Um, something in, in, in Canberra that the, these things were popping up all over the all over the earth um, and it was just fun to see like them depict Australia um, which of course I never saw because I never saw this show um, but yeah so it starts off really well and ends off in a really weird place um, but then season 6 Power Masters it, it sort of it starts off with Pretenders and it's kind of fascinating to see these characters live action because we never saw them live action um, and just the way that the Japanese audience um, and, and the, the show is different uh, for kids and the way they like that's a bit more violent um, and a bit more kiddie where we sort of see it's a lot more of like a child wish fulfillment sort of fantasy where we have the kids for some reason they get to drive cars and basically the Transformers just up being mech suits for these kids to run around having fights with these other gangs of kids and it's like where are the adults? I, I'm not, I can't, I can't, you know, buy into this at all. It, it's, it's, I can understand maybe kids in the 80s enjoying it, but as an adult, it's kind of impossible to watch and take seriously. Um, unlike the other season one, two, three, four, and Headmasters, they're, they're actually quite plausible. You can actually watch as an adult and enjoy it, but this was the, it was too much. And now there's some good battle scenes, there's some good episodes, there's some big sort of universe ending consequence possible sort of scenarios that's they sort of run through and some of it's well staged and the animation's good but just the basic premise of these kids basically at least in season season five I'm just going to call it season five for headmasters and season six for power masters um at least Daniel there, there was some oh you shouldn't do this this is dangerous they, they at least acknowledged that was an issue whereas in this show it's just like the kids are just like driving cars and you know, running robots and fighting battles and they're warriors and training and like why do these kids need to train how to be warriors? Where are the adults who can, it's just, it's just a little, it's, it's a kiddie show, it's a, it's a child wish fulfillment fantasy sort of scenario and it just really undermines it because otherwise it could have been just as good as season four. The only real issue is the speed they run through the characters as they're trying to introduce the new toys is 
a bit more obvious. The original series, season one, season was great. Season two, they just added more characters. Season three, they had the movie. They sort of wiped the slate clean. Season three started off. They introduced characters. By the end of the season, you were dealing with different characters, but it still felt like the same show. This show is a lot faster, and um, it's it's not as subtle. But, um, yeah, so I did enjoy it. I'm glad I did finally see it. Um, I'm not sure if I'd ever watch it again. Power Ma um Headmasters I definitely would watch sort of as a alternative season four or season five of the original G1 series, but uh, Power Masters probably no. But um, that's my little review. I just sort of wanted to do that. Um, check out the, the dubs. They are wild. Um, it's fun to see, but just I wouldn't watch it again. So I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.